my name is Maria Tutizian and we are now at the Central Division of the Yerevan Police Department. Last night, hundreds of citizens were protesting electricity rate hikes in the city. After three days in Yerevan's Liberty Square, the protesters decided to march to Pahramian 26. That is where the president's office is, the presidential palace. They were met by heavy police presence. Riot police did not allow them to cross their lines that blocked the streets. So the protesters decided to stage a sit-in on Pahramian. Basically, uh, destabilizing the city's traffic. Uh, at around 5.30 this morning, after many appeals by the police uh, to remove themselves from Pahramian Avenue, the police, in fact, started to uh, use water cannons and, and batons to clear the protesters. Many civilian police officers went into the crowd and began dragging away the protesters. Today, we spoke with one of the activists, Papkan Del Grigorian, who was there at the protest. He explained to us that there was a mood of jubilation, it was almost like an Armenian wedding. Hey Papkin, um, first of all, can you tell me if you know how many people are being held here? So there are about 15 to 20 people held at this particular police station. Um, MP Pashinyan came earlier and walked in. He has the privilege to actually go and meet with the, uh, those arrested and he came out with the names of people. Uh, he also said that they're pressing criminal charges uh, of hooliganism. Um, and that there are protesters all over town in different uh, police stations and even some uh, protesters in police stations outside of Yerevan um, in Abovyan and Ashtara. Okay, you were at the demonstration yesterday. Up until what point were you there? I was there until about 2 in the morning. 2 in the morning. So you weren't actually there when the water cannons no, came out? No, I wasn't. Okay, so do we? Do you have any information as to how many people might have been injured or if they're hospital? I don't. I don't. I know a lot of the protesters were injured uh, because uh, while we were waiting for them here, um, protesters were still being taken in and those are the ones that had been taken to the hospital first mm -hmm. uh, so they were at the hospital since about 6 30 in the morning until uh, they were brought here so right and um, you were at the protest till two o'clock in the morning can you just tell me a little bit about the mood it was, it was a, peaceful? a very peaceful demonstration I mean I've been to many demonstrations in Armenia and this was the, one of the most peaceful and one of the most high energy uh, positive um, protests I've ever seen in Armenia um, the organizers on multiple occasions repeatedly, almost uh, uh, like as if they were on the schedule, were, were repeatedly reminding the protesters that this is a non-violent uh, protest within the limits of the law. And everyone understood that. Uh, people were singing and dancing. And it was, uh, at one point I couldn't tell whether I was at an Armenian wedding or at a protest because the energy was just so positive and people were just so energized. Stay